So hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our webcast party. I'm Erin Scott. I'm so happy that you're here with me. And today we are going to sit back, relax, and chit chat about how to stay on track with your fitness and nutrition during the busy holidays. My friends, hate to say it, it is upon us. The holidays are here. There's no avoiding it at this point. We've already made it through Halloween <laughs> and it, we're not slowing down. We're not slowing down. It's still happening. We're still moving forward. We're moving ahead. So I want to just, you know, invite you, first of all, to take a moment to just chill out. During the holiday season, this is like the one time of year where we tend to speed up and we, we find very little time to chill out. So my goal for you today is to first find a little bit of peace. Like come on over, relax, chill, you'll learn some stuff. Hopefully you will uh, celebrate with me and feel inspired by what you learn here today. Um, and it's the, just a short, short period of time in the middle of our busy lives that we can just hang out. So grab a beverage, grab a seat, and join me. So in addition to giving you a little bit of chill time, I do want to share with you some things that are on my heart and that I've learned in the, the many years that I've been working with people on their fitness and wellness journey, but also in my own experience. And today I'm going to talk about three things that are going to help you get on track and stay on track with your fitness and nutrition during the busy holidays. So yes, that's the goal I have for you guys today, but at the end of the day, I want you to, to realize that today is more just about us hanging out and learning a lot. So that is what I have for you today. And if you stay until the end, which I hope you will, but like I said, we're busy people, so it's not, we're not gonna be here too terribly long. I do have a special gift for you if you haven't already gotten a little goodie from me in your inbox. And so what makes today different? The reality is we don't have a lot of time to do anything for ourselves anymore. It, it, it's so funny to me that um, I was reading a book recently and uh, it was so funny to me that, that back in the day, self-sacrifice was considered like an honor. Like when we, we sacrifice our time, our needs, the things that keep us operating at, you know, full force, that, that to deny those things was like a badge of honor. And that if for some reason, you know, we, we deprived ourselves of sleep or we worked through meals, um, we were considered um, heroic and brave and bold. But the reality is all of those things, skipping meals, skipping sleep, skipping showers, although I still do that, <laughs> and sacrificing just a little bit of self-care that somehow, um, you know, like nowadays, those are the things that are going to allow us to be better servants. If we, if we sacrifice things that, that serve us and our, our well-being, we, can, we are no good to anyone else. And today I want to talk about how I've been able to really work through how to make it all work. And no, I don't have everything figured out and I don't think anybody does, but I, I can tell you from my own experience and from the people that I've worked with that this is something that really can make a difference. And so that is what makes today different. And if we haven't met before, if you just happen to stumble upon this webcast party, my name is Erin Scott. I live here in Fairhope, Alabama with my husband and my two dogs, Right now, they're outside the door there, <laughs> and I have officially recently coined myself a work-at-home dog mom. Yes, I travel for work, and yes, I love being able to leave the house to serve, but at the end of the day, I also love being able to get up and help people in my pajamas. So that is definitely, uh, you know, something that's evolved over the last several years, and I've positioned myself to be able to do that. And a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you guys today are really, it, that really led 
to making those kinds of decisions for my life. I am also the founder of Silly Fit Inc. And I have had the joy and the pleasure of delivering fun and simple fitness and nutrition solutions since 2009. So this is exciting. I'm going into um, my anniversary <laughs> is at the end of November. We, we are already in November. So uh, my anniversary of, you know, being a, a health and wellness coach and being on my fitness journey uh, is the end of this month. And so I'm going into my 10th year uh, helping others on their fitness journey. I am a former neuroscientist with Harvard and MIT, and I have since transitioned my career and my focus into um, fitness education. So in addition to being a virtual fitness coach, a group fitness instructor, a personal trainer, I also mentor for fitness professionals. I certify instructors in group fitness, um, and I help serve the fitness profession and the fitness industry in many respects. But my heart really is for helping those who are not in the fitness industry try and figure it all out because that is the one thing that I've noticed about my journey is that if I didn't seek out the help from the people who have gone before me, I would probably still be where I started or I would definitely not be where I am today. I am also the author of two phenomenal eBooks that I'm sure you all have. Wow, your water. So if you're a fan of infused water recipes, I got a book for you. And of course, the Eat, Drink, and Be Healthy, Healthy Holiday Survival Guide. And if you haven't read the Survival Guide, stay tuned. I got one for you. But truly, all of that really boils down to the fact that I'm a product of my journey, the decisions I've made, the mistakes I've learned from, um, the people I've surrounded myself with, the choices that come with you know, some, some hard things, like some hard decisions that everything that I have done has led me to this point today. And so I want to share a little bit of that wisdom and insight with you over the last few years. I've done a lot of things, right? I've also made a ton of mistakes along the way. And truly after committing to a fitness and nutrition solution for almost I would say close to 12 years, I've worked with countless individuals who have just wanted to enjoy the holidays and still feel good inside and out. I've discovered that there are simple, proven, and fun ways that you can stay on track during the busy holidays. It's true. It's true. My mission, in fact, has been to find the fun and simple aspects of things. So, so it, I've made it my mission to help you reduce stress that comes with trying to do it all and stay on track, my friends. So, so, so excited that I get to share with you. Now, in years past, I've also helped others stay on track and they've had the opportunity to enjoy the holidays. And I discovered through a lot of trial and error that there is, it's, there's a way, there's a system. So I'm going to show you the easy way because that's my mission after all, right? Let me tell you about what the hard way looks like, okay? The hard way looks a lot like this. Sacrificing self-care believing that I could figure it out all on my own, going at it without a plan, saying yes to everything. Has that ever happened to you? Has that ever happened to you? If you're, if you're handy with the chat, pop in the chat right now. Are you the yes person? Do you have difficulty saying no to every opportunity? Do you have difficulty saying no to things that don't best serve you? All like, are you the yes person? Because that was so me. I'm a people pleaser or I was. I was. I'm a closet people pleaser still, probably. <laughs> but I say yes to everything, or I used to. And I remember when it was super hard, I, I also didn't trust the process. And part of that came with, really, it's a cultural thing, that instant gratification is so prevalent in our culture that if something isn't apparent or we haven't seen the result of it almost immediately, that somehow it's not actually going to manifest. And of course, one of the hardest things is going at it totally alone. I don't know if you know how this feels, but I don't know what I would do without my community. My Fit Life community is the jam. This was the hard way, guys. Sacrificing self-care, believing that I could figure it all on my own, going at it without a plan, saying yes to everything and not having priorities. 
Because if you say yes to everything, you're basically saying I have no priorities, just so you know. Not trusting the process, going at it totally alone, that's the hard way. Do you want a way that doesn't require you to do all the things? Because doing all the things is old school and it's just not even possible nowadays in order for us to maintain our sanity. So if you're not quite sure, <laughs> have you ever felt like this? Have you ever felt like you're doing nothing more than running around like a crazy person during the holidays? Like you're just running countless number of errands, dropping things off, wrapping things up, sending things places, baking things, all, you're doing all the things, but you just don't feel like you're just spinning your wheels. You don't feel like anything is actually producing. Have you ever dropped into your bed at night, totally exhausted, wondering what the hell you even accomplished that day? What did I accomplish that day? What did I accomplish? Because I'm beat and I have no idea why. Have you ever reluctantly, and, and it's okay, you can admit it here. You can, be, you can be totally honest with yourself. Have you ever reluctantly said yes to the bake sale, the gift swap, the community event, the work party, the, and I know I have family on here right now, the obligatory shopping outing with the in-laws. <laughs> I can't say no to that, right? Even though, Sometimes I'd rather be doing other things, but you get the picture. Like those things, like the things about the holidays that we dread, did you know that there's another way? Did you know there's another way? Now this one, mm, mm, this one has always kind of gotten me, but have you ever found yourself like munching on gingerbread or leftover holiday goodies while you're wrapping gifts or maybe you're picking up that annoying new toy that you stepped on for the 400th time? Like all of that, actually has a common theme, just so you know, okay? And I've been in your shoes, and I know there's a better way, and I'm gonna show you, okay? So here are my three secrets. Now, when you hear this, you're probably like, wait a minute, those aren't really secrets. But I, I also feel like maybe you never saw it framed quite this way, or maybe you have seen it framed this way before, but never thought to really give it much thought, <laughs> right? Secret one, the one thing I always do to stay on track with my fitness and nutrition during the busy holidays is have a plan. And I'm not just talking about like make plans, like, you know, making a coffee date with a girlfriend. Have a plan. That's secret number one. Number two, and this is really where everything kind of comes to a head, the most important lesson that I've learned about holiday stress, it will sabotage all your results, even if you think you're doing everything right, okay? The stress alone can, can totally put you on the struggle bus during the holidays, and this one, I don't know if anybody really knows. This, is, this might truly be a secret because I don't tell a lot of people about this. I avoid holiday fitness plateaus with lots of rest and relaxation. And let's face it, you know, unless we are self-made millionaires or, you know, entrepreneurs who can do a year's worth of work in 11 months and take, you know, the entire month of December off, um, not too many of us. Uh, have the luxury of, of really resting and relaxing and enjoying the holidays. Um, I would love for even that to be the case for me. Yes, I still hustle, but I hustle in the way that I love to hustle. And that's why I don't really have a ton of stress around the holidays. So those are my three secrets and I'm going to boil them down even more for you. And the first secret, have a plan. Here's what I got for you. If you're winging it, you're going to stress out. That's the reality. And here are four reasons why most people, like me, should not wing it. Number one, we get easily distracted. Okay? If we, if we don't have a plan, 
if we don't have a plan and um, we just, we say yes to all the things, we're doing all the things, we said yes to all the things, and yet we don't know what to actually put our focus on. We have zero priorities, we, do, we just don't know. And that totally shakes confidence. Um, we start to doubt ourselves. We start to then beat ourselves up if things don't turn out the way we thought they might because we're trying to do all the things. If we wing it, if we do not have a plan, not only do we get easily distracted and it majorly shakes our confidence, we have no routine, which therefore means we have no results, friends. And that just further leads to overwhelm, frustration, and disappointment. Now, this may seem like, oh my gosh, Erin, like that's common sense, but think about it. When was the last time you sat down, which means you have to stop what you're doing and make a plan and be reasonable about the plan so that you're not overwhelmed by the fact that you're making a plan. Three things you need to know. Knowing your holiday calendar is half the battle. Give yourself an opportunity to take a bird's eye view of the next three months, right? So it is, it is we are just at the very beginning of this holiday season. And so reality says we've got a few weeks to go. But what can we do now to help us not spread ourselves thin too much as we progress through the next three months? So knowing your calendar is half the battle. And it's not just about, um, you know, f uh, family events or or obligations, you know, it, it has to do with everything that you would plan. And so having a workout program that follows a schedule encourages compliance. And compliance is basically meaning you're not gonna blow off your exercise because you're too busy, okay? If you have a program that follows a schedule, you fold that in to your calendar like it's a non-negotiable appointment just like all those other things that you've committed to. If you're committed to the Christmas pageant at church, you can also follow a workout program that has a schedule so that you can commit to that in your calendar as well. There's room for both. And I know that that's not the only thing you have on that calendar, but that is why when you have simplified nutrition and menus, that eliminates the holiday snack guilt, right? Because you now have an approach to your nutrition. Even if it's, a, it, it's not like you're planning out full-scale menus, but rather you have an idea of when the parties are so that you can plan appropriately, right? So if you know you've got a party this week and next week, what are you going to do between now and then and then the next one so that you can stay on track? If you think about it ahead of time, if you have that bird's eye view of your calendar, you schedule in your workouts as if it's a non-negotiable, right? Like it's an appointment that you can't break. Not only when that happens, will you stick to your program, but when other things come up, you have your answer. Oh, I can't, I can't that night or I can't at that early in the morning, but maybe I can join you for coffee, say an hour later than you'd like to meet. Would that still work for you? Like you have ways that you can still be connected with your community, connected with your family and friends and still have that time for you. But if it's not in your plan and it's not on your calendar and it's not something that you can glance at quickly and without a doubt say, yes, I can do this or no, I cannot, then you're going to get off track. You will. So holiday stress will stall your efforts. So let's just say, let's just say everything in the planning department is solid. Okay. Let's just, let's just say that we locked secret number two, one, secret number one <laughs> in place. If you're stressing out about it, all that effort will be for nothing. In my experience, both in neuroscience and as a fitness professional, I have learned that stress is known to hinder fitness progress. It will big time mess with your digestion. And from what I hear, it shortens people's lives, not just holiday stress, stress. And it generally makes people unpleasant. Now, some of those are from my own experience and maybe they're not, you know, <laughs> scientifically proven. 
especially number four. But I personally know that I am not a pleasant person to be around when I'm super stressed out. And all the demands on our life, all of the things that we want to accomplish, even though we know that there's just not many hours in the day to accomplish them, if, if those things are stressing us out, all of the efforts we focus on planning everything out perfectly are going to be completely stalled. And I don't want you to hit a wall. I don't want your life to be shortened because you're so super stressed out. I don't want your digestion to be off. Believe me. I think part of what happens is when my digestion is off because of stress, that's what makes me an unpleasant person to be around. Holla if you hear me. <laughs> Let's see. Peggy says, I'm definitely a planner and actually plug in all my workouts classes I'm responsible to teach. So those things are on your calendar. Absolutely. But keep in mind, some of those things where you are responsible to somebody else, make sure that you are definitely um, making time for you, though, that, that there are things, self-care behaviors on your calendar that are truly to serve you. Sandy, yeah, San stress is such a big proponent of, of just tearing us up from the inside out. And we could be doing all the right things in many respects, but what happens is that stress just combats all of that. And so we find ourselves totally stuck in one spot. Totally. Oh, blank. <laughs> so here's how I realized that stress slows progress. If you've known me for any length of time, I used to be the most stressed person that I literally would pull my hair out. I had a disorder that I was diagnosed with that was stress induced and I would pull my hair out and I stopped seeing improvement in my strength training in my endurance even though I was working out regularly I mean I'm a fitness professional like I I train others and myself for a living but I ate like crap oh my gosh holla if you hear me and I drank a lot too so I was coping I was coping with the stress by eating like crap and drinking a lot and of course that made me irregular as well and so when you put all that together, it's like the perfect storm. Of course, you're going to hit plateaus. Of course, you're probably going to start going in the reverse direction in terms of your efforts. And so I had, as a result of all this stress and even stressing about the fact that no matter how hard I worked on trying to stay healthy, I was still not feeling like myself. I had zero energy to do anything. And that's when it can become quite dangerous. When we have all of our energy zapped out of us, we, we don't want to exercise. We don't want to eat well. And stress is usually the cause, if not almost always the cause of all of those things. So I tried a different strategy. Now this was years and years in the making, frankly, um, because I'm Irish and so we're wicked stubborn. But I created a plan that was realistic and doable. And I had to find a fitness program and a simplified nutrition solution that would fit into my life. I loved my hustle and I loved being able to serve others. And so I needed to find a way for it to, to happen. I needed to find a way to make it fit. And I shared that, like once I created the plan and I plugged everything in, like I described earlier, I shared that with people that I trusted to stay accountable. And in that process, there was no question what my priorities were. If it was in my calendar, I committed to it, right? So if my workouts are in my calendar, I'm committed to it. So it's a very easy decision when, I, when I'm asked, are you available? Or can you do this? I've learned to say no to the things that stress me out. And, and truthfully, having the ability to schedule my most important things in my calendar first, and that includes exercise and sleep, I am, I am able to fully, fully enjoy the holidays. And that leads me to secret number three, rest and relaxation has totally helps me avoid hitting any plateaus. If I'm resting, it means that my body is recovering from any, you know, from the exercising, but also any, you know, lingering stress. If I'm relaxing and taking breaks, then I know that all of my hard work is going to pay off. 
I was reading a book recently called High Performance Habits by Brendan Bruchard, and one of the common traits among high performers, so these are individuals who, um, despite their high pressure positions or, um, or status in you know, their, their culture, they tend to operate at a high level. And uh, one of the common traits among high performers in general is their ability to take breaks is their ability to fully unplug and rest and recharge. Even our phone needs to turn off every once in a while to recharge. Even our phone battery needs to be plugged in every once in a while. We do, we have to, we have to. And so sleep, baseline sleep is, is I, it's worked into my plan. It's worked into my plan. And yes, there are times where I'll make exceptions. You know, the other night I, you know, I teach fitness classes and after class, a bunch of my friends and I decided to get tacos and, um, I was out later that night than I normally am. But instead of coming back into the office and doing a little bit of work, like I normally would after class, I just went to bed and I woke up happy satisfied, rested, relaxed, high performers, people who can handle high stress decisions, um, but manage them in a way that's not overly stressful, high performers can take breaks. You're taking one right now. I mean, yes, you're thinking and you're engaging in the concept that I have for you, but at the end of the day, you aren't focused on 200 different things right now. You're right here chilling out. Remember I said that earlier, how I want you to just come and, you know, have a beverage, be you and chill out. That's part of the process is every once in a while, you got to take a break. You, it, whether it, it's important for you to acknowledge where you might need to schedule breaks in if you're working on a project for a really long time. And sometimes that break from whatever is stressing you out could also double as your self-care time like with your exercising now that I want to you know give you some caution don't always allow your exercise to be your break you also need a break from exercise okay and so that's also part of this right here so who here comment if you wanna who here wants to stay on track and enjoy the holidays I don't know. I feel like maybe everyone on this webcast, right? Well, here's how it's going to go. Here's how you're going to make it work. You're going to find a fitness and nutrition program that fits into your busy holiday schedule. You got to create a plan. You got to rest and relax and lather, rinse, repeat, my friend, lather, rinse, repeat. And here's the deal with that. If you can manage to successfully survive the holidays with your health intact, Imagine if you continued that cycle throughout the rest of the new year and beyond. Just imagine, just think for a second. If you followed the simple process, finding a program that fits into your busy life, so let's not even talk about busy holiday schedule, fitness and nutrition that is simplified and fits into your busy life, you create a plan, you set some priorities and you schedule in the important things and then you make sure that rest and relaxation is part of that. And then you just repeat the cycle. Does life happen? Absolutely. In fact, preparing for today, I had to shut almost all technology off for a little while because I really wanted to be focused and prepared to serve you today. And that is unlike me because part of my job is to be connected a lot. But I, I decided, I determined, and I was intentional with my priorities today and it was to come prepared to help serve you. And so disconnecting for a little while, and by a little while, like five hours today, <laughs> it was part of that process. So give yourself permission to do to set boundaries and do that for yourself and i will be honest with you i thought that having a rigid routine or having a plan that made me feel like boxed in would take away from the joy of the holiday season and, and you can comment here comment here if that's something you're afraid of are you afraid that if you have a super rigid schedule of like what people might think like oh oh aaron's not doing the Christmas caroling this year? 
rude. Like I, 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 yes, I would worry about those things once, right? Like, because I was allowing people's thoughts of my decisions to be a priority and it was using up space in my head and my heart that just didn't have to. And so when I held on to this belief that maybe like a plan, a, a rigid routine being boxed in and was somehow going to create restrictions rather than freedom, but you want to know something? the total opposite happened. When I set some boundaries, when I created a plan, I was able to still fit in all the fun that makes the holidays enjoyable. I was able to release the things that stressed me out and I didn't sacrifice my healthy routine. And yes, 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 if you know me, I love a good party. I was still able to celebrate and occasionally indulge, and I was still on track. That's how I have for, been for holidays past. That's how I will be this holiday. Because I found the path, the plan. And it's not too complicated. In fact, part of my mission is to keep it simple. So guys, imagine what this would do for your stress levels for your mood? Do you think you'd be more pleasant to be around? What about like for your body? How would that feel for your body, both inside and out? I know, I get TMI all the time. TMI being too much information about my insides. <laughs> so how would you like me to personally help you set all these things up? What, she said, what now? Yes, yes. I mean, I figured it out for you, right? Now you know all the secrets. So imagine how good it would be. You know, how good would it feel to have all the fun and to do all the things you actually love about the holidays and still have a healthy routine with my help. Now, often I look forward to celebrating with family and friends, rocking my workout and sleep. I can never get enough sleep. But think about how it would feel for you. So if you want, share in the comments. Share in the comments, like what, what, how would it feel, first of all, to have that feeling, but then also like what, what would it allow you to focus on and truly enjoy about the holidays? For me, it's family and friends and yeah, still having a kick butt workout. I know, I know. I'm cuckoo crazy that that's something I look forward to, but I do. And sleep. I look forward to all the sleep. I do. <laughs> Yes, Sandy, I agree. It would feel absolutely fantastic. And the healthy holiday strategy that I use to stay on track during the holidays and beyond, would you want to hear more about that? I mean, I kind of already shared the secrets. And would you want me to personally help you implement it? Because if I made it simple for you in concept, how do you think it might be with a little help to implement? I have a special offer for you so you can get everything you need. And yes, if you join me and you act fast, I'm going to give you a very special gift at the end. So check it out. Back when I was trying to figure it all out on my own, I had two options until I could go it alone, figure it out all on my own, lose sleep, stress out, and be miserable during the holidays, or when I decided to invest in my fitness and nutrition solution that fit into my life, my plan, my routine, my busy holidays, I was able to find the option that best served me. Oh, hi. Hi, blank slide. So you probably maybe come to a webcast party before and learn something of value like that, right? Like, boiling it down to two options, right? You can continue to do what you're doing, right? <laughs> or you can find another way, which is really a lot of the insight that people walk away from, from webcast parties like this. So I had two choices. And here's what usually happens. Probably nothing, right? You go back to whatever you were doing before and nothing changes. But why? Why? Probably because old habits die hard. And believe me, I know, I'm, I told you, I'm Irish, I'm stubborn. So the only way to break through 
these, these habits that we struggle with, with with first, it starts with a decision, but then you need to connect with someone who can show you the way newsflash. You're looking at her <laughs> in case you didn't know. And so this is how I came about developing my healthy through the holiday challenge. And it helps you implement everything we covered today. Okay. So I was going backwards for a second. This is why I created the healthy through the holiday challenge. So the healthy through the holiday challenge is just kind of like the foundation, right? It's the opportunity for you to now say, Hey, I, th there's a process. Now I got to just access the tools and plug in. And then once I can master this through the holidays, it's going to be like smooth sailing through the rest of my life, maybe? Who knows? So now you have two choices. The first is to do nothing. Don't take advantage of the opportunity. See no changes. The other is to take action. Invest in yourself today. Let this work for you. And then you can stay on track during the holidays. So here's how this challenge works. I give you an opportunity to customize your challenge experience depending on your goals and your needs. And I can point you into the right direction and then you can either make some of these decisions on your own based on the information in front of you or you can connect with me and I can help based on your goals point you in the right direction. But I have two options for this particular healthy holiday challenge experience. The first is lift for the holidays. What? What is that? So Lift4 is a designed in-home fitness program. The lift part is weightlifting. Yes, yes, I said it, and yes, I do it. And the II is the hit in Lift4, and the four stands for, wait for it, four days a week. That's it. Lift for the holidays is option one, and the other is holiday bod, say hey. So Holiday Bod is not just rocking a Holiday Bod, but it is also our Beachbody On Demand, which is our streaming library of an entire collection of fitness programs. And we will identify the program that's going to fit into your life right now. And then newsflash, if life changes, there's another program that can satisfy whatever changes you go through. So the holiday bot is not just really going to hook you up this for the time being, but beyond. Now, the cool thing about lift for the holidays is even though you'll be focusing on lift four, you also have access to bod. So if lift four is something that serves you now, but then you want to switch gears after you've completed the lift four program, you still have access to bod and you'll be able to select another program. Seamlessly, seamlessly. So those are your two options. But guys, I want you to meet my friend TJ. And I think TJ might actually be on our webcast party today. First things first, when you came on here, you weren't expecting to, to see transformation stories. You may not be on here to transform your body, but I want you to see here, read here, what TJ has to say about his experience with Lift 4. Now, this is an eight-week program, so his before and after is eight weeks start to finish. This is what consistency looks like. Lost five pounds, lost two inches in my waist, and one inch in my hips. Not to mention I've gained some muscle in the process. Thank you. Not for the weight loss, but for helping me realize how strong I am and for helping me gain my confidence back. Now, I know TJ personally, and we recently had, um, so can you imagine, right? Imagine, imagine that for yourself for a second. But how awesome would that be? Now, uh, recently, TJ uh, sent me a very um, powerful voicemail message and um, had us both crying about his journey. And I'm just so thrilled and so proud to have him in my life and so thankful that he trusted the process and that he, um, he, he followed his 
gut on this and now his gut's all gone. <laughs> but um, I, this is just one example of how when you work with a community of people and you work with people who have your best interest at heart, the amazing things that you can accomplish. So you do not have to be sticking to a healthy routine for the holidays for any kind of weight loss results or any kind of body transformation results. If you are, we can do that too. But I want you to also know that it has more to do with how we transform from the inside out and what going through the journey and going through the process can really do for our spirit. And this is my girl, Amy. So now Amy, holy moly, Amy says about Lift 4, this might be one of my favorite programs I've ever completed. Yes, she's graduated from multiple programs. All can be found on VOD. I feel so strong and I'm able to do anything now. And legit, this girl can, including, if you can see the boots there, including get a pair of boots that do not have to have the extended calf. Hello, can we hear it for Amy? I mean, come on. Like, my heart just totally bursts when I think about how far she has come in her journey. And I'm so proud of her and so thankful that we've had the opportunity to work together over the years. Um, I've known her for a couple years now, and uh, she really is truly a crazy awesome inspiration. And something you need to know about her, too, she is a mommy and a dog mom. So if you don't think her, or TJ, because TJ's um, a graduate student. He is working on his social work career. He has multiple jobs. Between the two of them, do you think they're just living in a bubble, getting these results in a bubble? No, real life is happening around them all the time, and it's possible. It's possible that it can work for them, it can work for you, I can help you, I can guide you, I can support you and show you the way. And so let me tell you what you're gonna get with the lift for the holidays. You, of course, are going to get the Lift 4 Fitness Program. Like I said, it is a training program. All the workouts are under 40 minutes, and you only do four workouts a week. That leaves plenty of room for all of the Christmas pageants and baking contests and whatever else you do during the holidays. And then, of course, it also includes the Simplified Nutrition with Shakeology, which is our whole health um, nutrition shake and an optional um, Beachbody performance line that will help you get more out of the workouts. It also includes all the program materials, guides, and tracking tools. And then of course, daily support from me and our community. It's the community itself. Being a part of such an uplifting community alone is worth its weight in value. It's priceless in fact, but for this, the total value, if you take everything that's here, the total value ranges depending on, again, your specific goals and needs, like where you're starting out, can be anywhere from $770 to $285. No joke, these are super valuable. So let's switch gears to Holiday Bod. Okay, you're gonna get Beachbody On Demand fitness programs in your streaming library. Yes, you can also connect it to your Roku, Fire Stick, uh, Chrome, Chrome Stick, Chrome, Apple TV, all of those. So if you wanted to actually put it on your smart, television, whatever, um, totally accessible. You're also, again, going to be tacking on that Simplified Nutrition with Shakeology and the Performance Line. Any of the programs that you have there have digital access to the materials, the guides, and the tracking tools. And duh, I mean, you work with me, you get my love every day and the love of our community, which, like I said, is totally priceless. So, that can range anywhere from $515 to $255, right? And so now your brain's like doing some math, like, okay, well, that seems like more than a gym membership. Yeah, that seems more than a personal trainer. Probably not. <laughs> that seems more than X, Y, and Z. You really have to think about what this includes. But in case, it doesn't make sense quite yet, I'm gonna throw in some bonuses that often you might find at the gym, but you won't have the kind of love that you're gonna get from me. The first bonus is the My Challenge Tracker app. We have, once you've committed to the Healthy Through the Holidays Challenge, I will give you access to the app and the group within the app where you'll track your daily activities and your progress and your goals. You'll receive ongoing support, helpful tips, and encouragement. Between 
all of the goal setting time and energy devoted to the My Challenge Tracker app that's valued at about $150. And so that is tacked onto what amazing value we already have with those two options for healthy through the holidays. But wait, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys as well a $35 value of a Shakeology five pack. That way, when you're committed to a program and your simplified nutrition, if you decide to go with a Shakeology flavor that's in maybe a bulk bag, these five packs will come in handy. So they're quick on the go and you can take them when you travel or if you know that you're going to be out of the house for a long time and you want to make sure that you get your whole health nutrition, your superfoods in for the day. So when you tack that on, the total value with the two bonuses can range anywhere depending on your specific goals and needs between $770 and $440. Yeah, I know. That seems like, whoa, my brain just exploded. That's okay. I love you. So for the first 20 challengers, I have a special bonus. You get two free private coaching sessions with me valued at $300. We will sit down. We will put a plan together. We will customize if we need to any of the programming that's available to you in your Beachbody On Demand library. We'll make sure that you have the equipment that you need, the appropriate recipes that you need for to make Shakeology work for you. Um, whatever it is we need to do, even if it's just we sit and chat and talk about, you know, a great strategy that that will help you get up in the morning. Sometimes it's hard to just get up in the morning and work out. And if you're not a workout in the morning type of person, that's okay too. I'm not either, right? I'm, I'm totally not. I'm checking my time. So I did leave, a, I, I am departing in a moment because I did say that we were going to keep this as close to 35-ish minutes. Um, so I, I do want to wrap up here. But now that you understand like the value, what does this mean you can say goodbye to? For me, it was saying goodbye to overwhelm, holiday stress, the guesswork, and the frustration. So what are you ready to say goodbye to? Pop it in the chat. What are you ready to say goodbye to? Remember, you can customize this challenge experience with Lift for the Holidays or Holiday Bod. And if you think about all the value that this breaks down to, whether it's Lift for or Bod, everything that's included with it, including the bonuses, you're looking at something that could eventually be valued at anywhere from $1,255 to $740. No joke. So if all that $1,255 did was help you stay on track during the busy holidays, simplify your nutrition, make fitness fun, help reduce stress and overwhelm, and help you make healthier choices for the long term, not just for the holidays, for the long term, would it be worth it? Would it be worth it? I feel like we've piecemealed and winged it with some of these costly decisions already. I know I have. I remember when I was 18, I got a checkbook for the first time. This is when I got my checkbook. Um, and I, I used my checkbook to sign up for a gym membership that I never used. <laughs> so you can see the value in 1255. But because you showed up today, my friends, it's not even close to that. Hello. Get started today. This webcast party. Okay, it introduces the Healthy Through the Holiday Challenge, okay? And it's going to, de again, depending on your specific goals and needs, be anywhere from 435 to what? To say what? She said what now? 130? Yes. Dude, that's not 1255, that's not 745. This is so doable, so doable. So I'm going to pop into the chat the link it's yourfitliferoutine.com. So this is where you're going to then get a little bit of an expanded option. It's the choose your own adventure. So when you go to your fit life routine, ooh, hi, I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> when you go to yourfitliferoutine.com, you will then choose your own adventure. Decide, are you going to go lift for the holidays? Or are you going to holiday bot it up? And remember, if you do this right now, like I just popped the link into the chat and then I'm going to answer all your questions. If you do this right now while you're listening to me answer your questions that you guys had, 
you will qualify for the special bonus with those free private coach sessions. And remember how I said earlier that I felt like setting aside, a setting aside time for myself or having a, a routine that might feel rigid or restrictive was going to, you know, make me more miserable and that the opposite effect happened. Sitting down with me for two sessions and no, you don't have to live down the street from me. We're on a webinar right now. Like we're on a web interface right here. It works. We can, we can chit chat. We can look each other in the eye and just taking that time for yourself to really, you know, kind of craft out a plan can make a world of difference. So if you're heading over to yourfitliferoutine.com right now to sign up for the Healthy Through the Holidays Challenge, I am so excited for you and I'm so pumped that I get to work with you. And you got to think about it. We all have income right now that we spend on movies, dinner, coffee, all the things, right? All the things. And then once you like purchase it, it's gone. This is an investment in yourself for life. So let me show you how to stay on track with your fitness and nutrition with the Healthy Through the Holidays Challenge. My friends, I am so thankful for you. Thank you for sticking on a little bit later than I had anticipated, um, but I do want to make sure that I answer your question. So if you're jumping on over to yourfitliferoutine.com and choosing your own adventure, feel free to do that. Um, and I did have some of the questions already written out, and then I also see there are some questions here in the Q&A. So let me make sure that I answer that live. So what are some of the main foods that we should avoid at all times in order to help us lose weight? Okay, well, this might not be the answer you wanna hear, but I don't think there's food that we should avoid at all times, unless you're allergic to it or you know it doesn't treat your body well. Um, so that's a very, it seems like a vague question, but I don't, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything that I should avoid at all times unless it's going to kill me <laughs> or make me violently ill. Um, so, it, it, but to expand on that, if you are wanting to um, direct a lot of your eating towards weight loss, uh, clearly uh, the quality of food is just as important as like what it's made up of. And I don't mean like, because that sounds like quality of food. Um, it's macro content. Okay. I'm not going to get too complicated into this, but um, you know, we have three main macronutrient sources, proteins, carbs, and fats. And so avoiding sugar definitely will help, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't have healthy fiber filled carbs that really help us stay energized, especially when we tap into an energizing program like lift for or any of the bod programs that we have in our bod library so some of the main foods that that i would say you you could steer away from uh, would be anything that's overly processed overly floury or sugary now i get it Christmas cookies are the jam, y'all. I, I go to a Christmas cookie exchange every year since I moved to Alabama. And it's become a tradition among the ladies that do it. And in fact, since my mom moved to Alabama, she, um, she has joined us. So she's part of the cookie exchange now. So we don't make just one batch of cookies. We have to make two batch of cookies because everybody, and, and not just a batch, but like, she makes some and I make some. So we have to bring our own cookies. So we just like turn her kitchen into crazy. So what was the point? My point is I, I don't allow food to own me. I found some simple solutions that help me stay, um, stay on, on the, the right path. And so those moments when I do kind of steer off and indulge in things that might not really long-term and consistently benefit me, uh, I don't beat myself up about it. So Shakeology is the, is the pinnacle, is the foundation of that for me. It is made from whole food nutrition. Uh, it, it, every ingredient in Shakeology comes from the food source. It's just ground down into a fine powder. And then um, 
we've got multiple flavors so that you can blend it up, shake it up, all that fun stuff. Um, but I legit for nine years have had Shakeology, wait, going on 10 years, 10 years have had Shakeology virtually daily. And even on days when like, if maybe I got a, a stomach bug or something and I can't stomach like anything, I'll at least try and drink Shakeology because it has served my immune system and it has served my digestive system and my energy systems in ways that I didn't even realize. And it's because the whole food sources in Shakeology are so high quality. Um, and so I, I can be confident that regardless of any, you know, decisions that I make about my food choices outside of the Shakeology, that the Shakeology at least has me, uh, you know, consuming some high quality nutrients every day. Um, So Peggy's asking, have you thought about those who are already using bond? Peggy, go over to the site and you'll see that I broke everything down for you based on your needs. So if you already have bond, there are actually options for you as well. So everyone is welcome. Uh, you, if you go over to your Fit Life routine, you can either choose the holiday bond or you can choose um, the lift for the holidays. And you'll see that there's actually, uh, again, you know, you kind of, choose based it's like a little flow chart almost but it's not like a graphical flow chart so you know you kind of choose based on what you you still need to complete the total picture so if you have some pieces of the puzzle already um you'll see over on your fitliferoutine.com that uh you the other puzzle pieces are accessible for you so peggy asks Uh, during the end of the year, solving a lot of instructors, therefore I don't get in as many of my own workouts. Yes, I, I used to have that problem too. Anyone else? Yes, that's totally my problem, or it was. Um, but when I started doing Lift 4, frankly, I was able to actually fit four days of my own workouts in under 45 minutes right? It only, it's only 45 minutes of my day at the most. Most of the workouts lean closer towards the 30 minute time, 35 minutes. So if I, if I can find 35 to 45 minutes for myself, four days a week, all the other days during the week, I can devote to my program design, to preparing for my classes and teaching those additional classes. Um, I do trainings on the weekends. So when a program finally came along where you could take the entire weekend off from working out, I was like, oh my gosh, I can now do my job and not feel guilty that I'm pushing off my own workouts. So Peggy, that, that was actually something that has been so beneficial to my fellow fitness professionals who were looking for a program that could serve their goals and their needs, but wasn't going to um, leave them with the decision. Am I going to sacrifice my own workout to serve my people or am I going to kill myself trying to fit it, fit it all in, right? Those are the two choices at one point until something like Lift 4 came along. So there's a, there is a solution to every problem. I'm certain of it. And, and I'm always happy to help people uh, connect with and find the program that's right for them, that, that provides them with the simplification that they are looking for. Um, and so I, I do hope that this has been helpful and beneficial for you. Um, don't forget that you have a party favor waiting for you. So as a thank you for those of you who came on live, first of all, thank you so much for your time and attention. And again, if you have additional questions, I have a couple more questions that I'm gonna uh, just take a look at um, in a moment. But if you have any additional questions, you can shoot me an email, okay? So if you, if you poke around and you're like, oh, you know what? I think one of these two options under you know the holiday bod, option would work for me. I wonder which one would be best for me. Feel free to send me an email and then you can, you can reconnect with your, um, with getting set up with your challenge. Okay. So once, and, and I'll just kind of like lay it out. Once you select your challenge pack, right? So once you, you choose through either of those two options, that will actually like send you to a shopping cart, which is great. And then there'll be some, probably some auto replies to just confirm that everything went through correctly. 
But then also while you're on that page, make sure that you put in your info so that you can get your bonuses. So in addition to the My Challenge Tracker app and the Shakeology 5 pack, I'll want to reach out to you if you're one of my first 20 to connect and set up your two free private coaching sessions. So we've got that as well. So, so there's going to be some like, you know, making sure that, that, that everything gets checked off the list. But the first step is to go on over there, choose your option. And then once you choose the option, then you'll see based on the different possible pieces of the puzzle that you're missing, which option will, which pack within that option, whether it's lip for the holidays or holiday bod that will work best for you and your needs and your goals. And again, if you need some insight or helpful guidance on that, I uh, provided my contact info here and you are more than welcome to um, connect with me. Otherwise, I am so thankful that you took some time to hang out with me. I know I went a little bit over time, but I think the interaction was really fun. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed whatever beverage you were enjoying. I was enjoying water when I wasn't talking. And I actually, uh, I have a workout to get to, so I will be heading out, but I did want to get to just a couple other questions. Um, that have come up and, and I want to make sure that I serve you guys with the questions that you asked. So um, one other question that came up when I don't have a lot of time to exercise, what is the best overall type of exercise to stay fit? Um, well, the, this is going to seem like a cop out answer, but it's whatever exercise that you will do. <laughs> right? So if you find that like, doing a lot of calisthenics or weightlifting, you know, is, is going to motivate you to do it when you know that you don't have a lot of time, um, then do it. If you find that, you know, going for a run for 30 minutes uh, and that's all the time you have, you just dread it and you hate it, then I don't want you to do it. It's not going to be effective. The least effective exercise you could do is the one you don't do. The most effective exercise you can do will depend truly on you know certain metabolic parameters but i would rather in the beginning if i don't have a lot of time to exercise and i just want to get moving just get moving whatever that looks like and we've got a whole collection of programs with a whole range of um of time i was gonna say time limitations of durations that's the word okay so anything from 22 minutes to 30 minutes to a 10 minute stretch workout like whatever whatever you need we're gonna plug you into the solution so i hope that was really helpful for you guys thank you so much for being here now the uh the link to the yourfitliferoutine.com will be active with all of the bonuses and everything um and uh, once we have reached our 20 challengers i will be um notifying you whether or not you will be getting the free coaching sessions and so um just know you're welcome peggy thank you for coming thank you for your time um, I, I do always want you to get the most out of anything that you put your time into. So I hope this was helpful for you as well. So that link will be active now. And um, as until, yes, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. I'm so glad it was super informative. So plug in to that link. And then once uh, we, the challenge is on its way, you will get a communication about that as well. So thank you guys. And again, if you have any other additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to hear from you. And I appreciate you so, so, so much. I can't wait to work with you on surviving the holidays as healthily as possible. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And I think I'm going to leave that up as I say goodbye. I can't wait to see you over in Healthy Through the Holidays. Bye, guys.